Oh, this is gonna be great. I'm Sadayo Kawakami. I didn't realize that that slips right there. Will send you I didn't catch that office. before. Ah, Kawakami! If I remember right, the girl that passed away was only 15. Wow, that was that a reference to um, Kasumi? The 15 year old girl? Which is your favorite awakening? Akechi's third. No, but like legitimately, Yusuke, Yusuke's first. It's fourth period already. Sakura-san said that he left the house. <laughs> I didn't realize that was my name for a while. I'm like reading this, I'm like, who the fuck is Pancake Coon? And so it be begins. By the way, you're that new transfer <laughs> student, right? I'm never gonna get used to that. This name was a mistake. I have instant regret. I'll give you five reasons why I'm replaying Persona 5. Akechi, 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 Akechi. Got him. And the maddest of love. Oh! Speak of the devil and he shall appear! Oh! Oh! Hi! There he is! Thanks. There's the man! That son of a bitch, I see you! Clever game. Maybe you're just naturally drawn to athletes? I would, I would consider myself more drawn to detectives. Discuss. You're free to go. <laughs> I don't have any problems. Cheerful elderly man. Isn't this the guy who's trying to take custody of Futaba? Uh, he's not cheerful. The English word talent didn't originally have anything to do with our modern concept of celebrity, but the ability to change one's mask depending on the situation is surely a talent given to one by God. It's not too far off calling people who can react to things on the spot on TV talents. Oh my god, that is the biggest a catchy drop hint ever. Ah, I love this. Can a person's mental state change so easily? Not if your name is Goro Akechi. Yeah! If only it was so easy. Is that pancakes I see? The man! Damn Brad, I'll sue! I want it to be something both cute. Let me see. I want it to be something cute and luxurious. On said it needs to sound cute and luxurious. I think that's uh, very cute and luxurious. <laughs> Get fucked. You guys are the phantom thieves, aren't you? I just realized how awkward this would be if Mishima was talking to us as if we were the phantom thieves and like, what if we weren't? <gasps> He's kidding! Wait, is that guy playing on a PS Vita? My man. I just realized that there's a certain similarity between Makoto and Akechi. It's like they're both being kiss asses because they're both really lonely people. Oof. They both just really want to be accepted. Pretty poor. <laughs> this is the first job for Akechi's ass. Oh, this is the best playthrough ever. Look who got the top score. <gasps> I'm top of the class. I'm either so smart or this is my second playthrough. <laughs> I love this awakening. This is my favorite awakening. Half biased because I absolutely love Yusuke. He just steps out. A breathtaking sight. Imitations they may be. <laughs> I hope your track dreams will still do you some good in the end. You know what they say, right? If you wish hard enough, your dreams can come true. Monka ass! Damn! All the way from the beginning of the game. Hi, Kasumi. I'm Goro Pancake. Nice to meet you. <laughs> apologize. This is such a long time coming. I don't know why I'm crying. I didn't have to go through that. Is it because I'm weak? No, it's because you feel empathy, my girl. I get you. Empathy is beautiful. Wait, plenty of terrible people look perfectly decent on the outside. It'd be a shame if your biases kept you from noticing something truly wonderful about someone. I feel called out. Ah! <laughs> that reminds me of how much I hated Akechi whenever I first met him. Phantom thieves, huh? Pleasant boy. <laughs> I'm coming after that booty. <laughs> they drew his crying face on the blackboard. The little things. I, I didn't notice that before. All these rotten students. We're always hearing gossip about the dark sides of celebrities. <laughs> So much foreshadowing. Dude, Akechi has to be, this is such a long conversation. He has to be standing around the corner for like a full two, three minutes. This is long. It's not like Morgana's like, oh, I want to go to the pancake looking place. And he just walks past. Oh, am I mistaken? I thought I heard something about delicious pancakes. <laughs> the line hits so much differently when your last name is pancakes. 
<laughs> this mind game. Let's talk about this. At this point, it's a I know that you know game. I know that you're a Persona user because you heard Morgana, and you know that I'm the leader of the Phantom Thieves. The game starts at this point. It makes it really hard to digest. It's possible that this group is just as you believe, and they are truly acting with good intentions. He's ashamed to say that. He resents the fact that they can do these acts of justice for good intentions while he can't, which is why he has that sad portrait right there. Otherwise, he wouldn't. Since they have special talents, I assume their hearts must be burning with a sense of justice and duty. Oh, he resents it so much. This is fucking nuts. Sorry, I'm keeping this uh, screen just like this because I want them to hold hands longer. Just, uh, just keep holding hands. I'm gonna go get myself some water. Let's go. Akira, he, he just looked back. He looked back for him. The subtle things. He's like, my boy, where do you go? We had front row seats. I could practically reach out and touch a catchy coon. I hear he's an orphan who grew up poor. It's part of what makes him so amazing. Or so horrible, but you know. <laughs> no, today we cover a catchy's ass. They have high appeal among young people. <laughs> All those young people talking about Akechi's ass nowadays. Oh man, I don't blame him. Even if we manage to get revenge, Goro's past record won't go away. Oh, that's a yikes. The blackboard, is that Akechi? I've never noticed this before. I never paid attention to the blackboards. Now let's play a game. You've played pool before, correct? Whoa, wait a second. Oh my God. Why did I look? I am going to hell. It's fine. You know, I embrace it. It's fine. Oh my lord, he's thick as fuck! I never uh, looked at that ass before, holy shit! Oh my god! Stop! It's so thick! This man, why did the devs give him a fucking thick ass? The devs did this, okay? They didn't have to give him an ass. In any case, you truly are interesting. You never cease to intrigue me. Uh-huh. Keep flirting with me, I dare you. That'll go really well for you. As long as I can spend time with you, think of it as you please. Gay! I was so busy in my first playthrough being like, oh man, fuck it, catchy. I don't want to hang out with this dude. And now I'm just like, gay! <laughs> and I am living for it. There are plenty of villains in the world. How do they choose who to go after? This is a conscious decision to make his portrait look sad here. It's very interesting. Again, this is him resenting Joker. He envies the fact that Joker can just keep finding villains to go after and new targets. But he, he has a one track mind. He can only think about Shido. And he's just sitting here lost in thought like Shido's the only villain I see. This shit is so good. This is worth it to do a second playthrough of this game just for these moments. There's so much meaning behind everything. Akechi is so five head. Can't it's killing me. I've heard many rumors about a criminal group lately. I hope you have avoided involvement. What if I just say nothing? Huh? <laughs> is everything okay? Oh, you needn't hesitate to ask if you require help. I have police connections, you know. That was really cute. Even though he hates my guts, but like that was actually really sweet. Personally speaking, I think if pain can be avoided, it should be. Maybe it shouldn't exist at all. Wow. There he goes. That's why I'm doing this research to save people who are suffering from internal pain they keep holding on to. You helped me realize that purpose again. Thank you. Oh God, Joker's causing the issue here with Maruki. For you to drown. Akechi. You can't say that. God, that sounds like we're dating. It's like, he makes it sound like, oh, my parents aren't home. I'm alone. Uh, have the place to myself right now. <laughs> Did he say that in my first playthrough and I never noticed? Well, let's both do our best today. Uh, Akechi continues to kill my soul because I know in my first playthrough, I said like, he seems so fake and it, and it is. Oh, let's both do our best. And behind that smile, he's like, I fucking hate you, Joker. Why you have to be better than me and, and everything. Underneath that is another layer of like, I do want to be your friend and I wish the circumstances were different. There are layers on this guy. He does care about him. So you came to Tokyo on your own and now you live in a cafe loft. Impressive. This is where he starts hating me even more. I suppose it goes to show we do have some strange connection. <laughs> yeah. Thanks to you, I can, t I can tell I'm actually getting somewhere with my theories. Ah, 
these confidant ranks with Maruki are so different now. We're encouraging the behavior. We're making him see that it's right every time. I'm gonna go see him in person, not through text messaging. Oh no, we're going to him. Hi, boyfriend! <laughs> I'll need as much practice as I can get if I'm gonna take you out. Only a joke! <laughs> Unless. You wanted to be a hero? I'm not totally certain, but thinking back, I suppose I must have. You still do, you bitch! You still do want to be a hero! Which of those two fits more with your conception of a hero? Out of curiosity, I want to know what he says to this, because that's what he's doing. That's a surprise, I didn't think you'd say that. I suppose that's fair, after all, if this justice isn't something people want, then it's just empty self-righteousness. It's more than just him calling himself out. He hates himself. It's self-loathing. He knows what he's doing is wrong. What a sad, sad boy. I had a feeling that it was too brutal for it to be his own idea. He's talking about a catchy. <laughs> it's Shido's idea. Oh, God. He's being used so much. Hey, it's me. Where are you at? What you doing? <laughs> he doesn't want this. <laughs> I'm gonna point out a very subtle note here. Every time Kasumi talks so far, Joker has only looked at Akechi. He hasn't even casted a glance at Kasumi. And she's the one talking. That's right. He still hasn't Second looked at Kasumi. And his way of thinking intrigued me. He's still staring at him. That. What do you think of the Phantom Thieves, Yoshizawa san? The Phantom Thieves? Does Joker you just never turn his head? This is so awkward. I simply can't agree with their methods. Oh, he finally turned his head! <laughs> as soon as Kasumi disagreed, I can't agree with their methods. He's like, wait, what? Sorry, I was distracted by Akechi. In that respect, the Phantom Thieves face a very serious crime. It's great character development with Akechi because you can tell at this point he starts to really lose face and get really heated by the Phantom Thieves because he's been working for the past two or three years for Shido trying to get his revenge. He's almost got it at this point. I love I love that you can see the progression of his anger. The influence of the Phantom Thieves <laughs> made no bounds. I underestimated it, honestly. <laughs> Akechi, thank you. <laughs> Glad to make your acquaintance, Yusuke Kitagawa. You remember that point I made earlier? He introduced himself to Joker as his full name, but whenever he introduces himself to other people, it's just Akechi. That's the third time that this has happened. Just a small little tidbit. I bet we'd make a great team if we worked together. Oh! <laughs> Morons. <laughs> I didn't notice the band-aids on the back of the car there last time. Isn't it tough being popular and catchy? <laughs> Just take care of yourself. Oh my god. Why didn't I do this last playthrough? I love you. Oh my god. Once I can smile again from the bottom of my heart, I'll come visit. Oh my god, stop, stop. Why are they so fucking cute? Oh, is this like the romance option? Oh, oh god, wait, uh, I, oh god. I want to choose on now. Uh, give me a minute to think about my life. Okay, that comment did it for me. On has Shiho. True. Okay. In my search for models, even when I ask a woman who catches my eye, I find that their souls do not hold the same beauty. I have no time to spare on anything besides art. <laughs> you skate be like, dating, what's that? I only can draw. I hope I ain't scaring you off with all this talk. Uh, now nah, I like this stuff. You're into some weird shit. <laughs> Don't call me out. He doesn't know my boyfriend is catchy. I live for danger, bitch. On is literally the person I wish to be. She is like absolutely precious. And she has like all the best qualities too. Forgiveness, not judging people. God, she is so fucking great and underrated and fuck. I love her confidant stories because it really Man, makes her high. personality shine so much. She is so fucking strong. That is the definition of a strong ass woman who knows what she wants, that doesn't judge people, pure soul. She's incredible. Whoa! Dang! Right. Okay, I haven't trained a, a lot in my first playthrough. Apparently, the longer you train, Joker just starts to strip more and more. Okay! I can't believe Akechi's ass actually defeated Vincent! Me neither, man! Ugh, now everyone's describing them as saviors. Oh, yes, Akechi's ass has saved us all. Oh! Huh! I wanted to talk to you, but sadly, I need to get to work. That's so cute! Wait, that's actually really cute! 
I told you guys his introductions. It is not a coincidence that he introduces himself to everybody as Akechi, but when it's Joker, it's Goro Akechi. That is so cute. That despair would lead to her death. I was passed from foster home to foster home, but I do quite well by myself these days. Futaba-chan, right? Sai-san told me about you. You know what's very interesting is his tone of voice right now is also different. Ah, oh, God, Robbie! His tone of voice is vulnerable right now. You notice that? Because he just talked about his mom. This is the most honest we've ever seen a catchy. He's jealous about everything, not just the fucking coffee, dude. This is the first time he's both been super vulnerable, honest, with no like hidden agenda. I think the reason why he got vulnerable there, his first thing he said whenever he saw Futaba was he knew that she was Wakaba's daughter. I didn't, I didn't put that together. That's probably another reason why he got really vulnerable there because he resented it too. Ooh! Oh my god, no, boy! Where in the world is Goro Akechi? He's an angry boy right now. I'm being bested by some attic trash who I'm deeply attracted to. That's probably what he's thinking right now. It's time that I take my boyfriend to the bathhouse. Let's go! My mother worked at a nightclub. Whenever she had, a br had to bring a man home, she sent me off to the local bathhouse. Joker really is his home. Oh! <laughs> How many interactions has it been now? Like the past like two or three interactions with him have been so genuine that it's like such a breath of fresh air. There's no underlying meaning to anything. It's just honesty. He even was honest about his envy for him. There's no like reading between the lines here. The more I get to know you, the more it makes me think. I wonder why that is. Now I'm veering into strange territory. I should let you go. What do you mean strange territory? You mean your love for me? Is that what you mean? Spill the beans. You fuck! 